Yo, it's Sparty, here to spitball some information at you guys today. For those of you who don't know, that's my spitball motion. I used to do a lot of spitballing back in high school and middle school. I was a fucking expert spitballer. I was so fucking accurate with the spitballer. Uh, back when I was in middle school, I would sit 50 feet back in the back of the classroom. My, my teacher would be right in the back of the whiteboard. And then I would nail my teacher in the back of the bald spot. I was that fucking accurate. Even from 50 feet out. Insane. Insane. Of course they knew who it was because Sparty Fortune, well... He was a bad boy. He was a bad boy, and some things just, they just don't change. They just don't change. Sparty Fortune, still a bad boy. Anyway, so I've been getting a lot of questions lately uh, regarding no contact. And, you know, my inbox and my, my DMs and Facebook and Instagram has been blown up with kind of the same question. Whether or not you should text your ex after 30 days no contact. Now, a lot of people... You know, when they get dumped, they go to the internet and try to figure out what's the best solution that I can win my fucking ex back. What's the best thing I can do? And a lot of people see a lot of different shit. A lot of dating coaches tell them other shit. Some dating coaches say, reach out after 30 days. Some say, don't ever reach out again. Some say, fucking go beg. So I've seen that, which is embarrassing, but they say, go beg. Don't know what they're doing. Never fucking listen to that. Anyway... You got a lot of options on the internet, and people don't necessarily know what to do. Then they come to Sparty and ask that question, what they should do, because, you know, Sparty gives the fucking truth. He gives the cold, hard truth. He gives the accurate truth. He gives all the fucking value. He produces the results. And that's why they come to him, for the best, the true best truthful answer. So I provide that shit. So I'm going to give you the truth. Now, I want to start off by answering my question with saying this. I usually get a question and I make videos and I just go on the... I go through the top of my head. I don't really think about it. I don't fucking plan out my videos. I just fucking say the truth and I fucking spitball to you guys because I give you quick value. I give get right to the fucking answer and we fucking get, we get going. We get going. We produce fast fucking results. And so I want to, I want to start off by saying... The internet and the videos that you watch are not geared towards you, okay? So every question that someone answers isn't necessarily geared toward you. So therefore, if I make a a whether you should reach out to your, uh, whether you should reach out to your ex after 30 days or not may not necessarily apply to you. Half the videos that you see may not necessarily apply to you. Some of them might. Some of them may not. That's why you need a coach to guide you through your specific situation. Every relationship is different. Every relationship ended differently. Every relationship had a different connection. Every relationship lasted a different amount of time. Every relationship didn't go to the same uh, stores, didn't do the same movies, didn't do the, do the same thing, didn't have the same connection with the parents. There was a ton of differences in each and every relationship. Therefore, every relationship is different. Therefore, each and every answer that you see on the internet is different for you because you had a different relationship. So I wanted to start off by saying that. Now, I'm going to continue that by saying some relationships, when they're fucking over, some of them require the fucking person who was dumped to reach out to their ex first sometimes that fucking happens i i'm not gonna say that every relationship needs to never talk to your ex again because that's not fucking true some i tell some of my clients i tell listen you should hit up your ex i sincerely believe that you should hit up your ex apologize or do this or say this to this person or whatever a lot of relationships are different. So oftentimes, sometimes after 30 days, I'll tell some of my clients, yo, you can reach out to your ex and this is what you should say. You should say X, Y, and Z. Sometimes I say that. However, I'm just going to say this. However, for majority of people, majority of people, majority of the clients that I deal with, 75% of the clients, maybe even 80, 
I tell them not to reach out. I tell them not to reach out. Now, why do I say this? Why do I say this? Well, the truth is you can obviously reach out. You don't have to fucking listen to me. You don't want the fucking truth. You don't want the value. That's fine. Go listen to another dating coach who's just going to give you that fluffy cotton candy who makes you all feel good. But here's the truth. You can reach out to your ex and you can get her back. You can get her back by reaching out first and texting her first. But here is my view on it. Just from seeing a lot of game in the past, seeing uh, dealing with women, studying relationships. I've been studying relationships for the past six or seven years. This is just what I've seen. You want your ex to reach out to you first. Long term, if your ex reaches out to you first, she is investing in you. She is investing in you. She, it takes a lot out of her. A lot. A fucking lot for her to reach out to you. Because she has every fucking obstacle. She has everyone telling her no. She's having her parents tell her no. She's having her friends tell her no. She's having her own mindset tell her no. Everything is holding her back. But if she can text you first, that shows a great amount of investment on her part. Okay? It shows a great amount of investment on her part. So therefore, you who's been leaning back, doing no contact, getting better, going to the gym, doing all your fucking shit, bad boying it up, fucking killing it in life, you get a text from her, you're like, okay, you're fine, you're casual about it, you haven't been expecting to text her, therefore you're not going to overthink it when she texts you, okay? That makes it that much easier to get back with her. If she texts you first, it's in your cans. The ball's in your court. You're fucking Michael Jordan. You can determine when you're taking that last shot. Okay? Now, this is good because if she texts you, she's investing a lot. Therefore, she wants to meet up with you at some point. If you pass all her shit tests. Which is kind of hard if you're not studying game. However, if she's texting you first, good news for you. You can fucking turn it around and you can fucking okay let's go out to eat let's go fucking get dinner let's go do this let's go to the movie let's go talk at the mall let's do this let's do that okay that easy that fucking easy if she can fucking text you first it's better long term it's better long term because you actually have the power when she's reaching out to you first therefore you get your power back and then you win you win you win when you have all the power you fucking win, okay? So that is why I fucking say that. You have to get her to text you first. For 75% of people, I'd say you ha you would want her to text you first That because long term, long term, it's going to help you out. It's going to help you out. Now, if you text her first, now, I'm just going to say this. If you text her first, you know, you could win short term. You could win, but she still has all the power. She still has all the power if you text her first. And chances are she does miss you, okay? When you text her, she does probably fucking miss you. I, as we've discussed in three, four to six weeks or three to four, six weeks, whatever, she's going to start missing you. And she'll respond to your text most likely. And maybe she will meet you for drinks, okay? But short term, it's not going to fucking work out. Short term, it's not best. She'll fucking, she'll go out with you for a few months, but then she's going to see the same pussy, Okay, she because she still has the power because you reached out to her first. You want her more than she wants you. We want her to reach out to show her she wants us more than we want her. Okay, we want to have the power. You are giving her the power if you're reaching out to her. You're asking her for permission. You're asking her. Okay, when you're going up to her and approaching her, you're nervous when you're going to fucking text her. You're nervous as hell. You're unsure. You're going to fuck up because you're going to try to send her a nice, long, detailed text to have the perfect text message. And it's ultimately, she can sense it. She can fucking sense it. Girls know when you're trying. Girls fucking know when you're trying. And you're trying when you're texting your ex first. You really are. And she's going to fucking sense that. And... She knows she has the power. But if she texts you, she's going to have to be the one who's trying to text you, say something funny at first and all this shit, and try to impress you, make sure that you're still into her. Okay? So that's why we want her to text first. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying that you can't text her first. You can definitely text her first, and you could definitely win her over. But long term, long term, it's better if you fucking wait. If short term, she sees that you have the power if you text her first. And, you know, it might last an extra month or two, but ultimately, she's going to say that see the same fucking human being that she fucking broke up with.